Last year I built this cabin, but this year I'm gonna try to rebuild this old wooden boat that I found in a scrapyard. Hi, um, today if I can just stand here without falling through, yes, probably. I'm going to design the V-berth here, but before I can do that, uh, even think about it, I need to straighten her up because she's leaning on one side and that would make the design all crooked and weird. I'm filming this as I'm editing the the episode that you're watching right now. It's going to be a lot of talking here, uh, and it's probably awkward for you because, well, when I built the cabin in the woods, I just not, I never talked. But it's definitely more awkward for me. So uh, this project is way too complicated to to just narrate with uh, with text. So I'm going to do my best here to try to answer one of these questions that I got in the comments. So. Um, yeah, a lot of talking. Okay, um, let's start with some basic points here. Um, first, I don't know anything about boats, so that's probably good for you to know. Um, second, I don't know if I like to sail. Um, I've done it a couple of times, but I'm, I'm not sure. So, and that brings us to the third point, and that is that this project is all about doing stuff and not finishing. So. Um, so let me talk a bit more about the third point that's, um, to kind of explain it to you because um, so I've done a couple of house renovations I find them really hard because I'm more of a chainsaw guy than you know this fine tinkering planer guy but it's extremely satisfying to close a project with fine carpenting and so a couple of weeks ago I had to redo my daughter's room and perhaps it's just me getting older but I really enjoyed working with the small details and the finish of that room and now I'm not very good at fine carpenting um, I, I don't have the tools nor the patience but I want to learn so this is more about me learning skills than actually finishing something but you know I'm lazy and studying is tedious so I need a payoff somewhere in the future. I guess the finishing of a project is more of a whip than a carrot. Um, getting done is just not satisfying for me, but not moving forward is even more disgusting. So, so I got to think about what kind of room would be challenging to build. And um, I couldn't think of anything harder than building the interior of a boat. It would also be very satisfying as boat interiors are extremely traditional. Because um, these days you can build homes in, in pretty much any way you can imagine. Um, everything has, has been done before. But interior designs on boats are somehow kept very traditional be between um, a couple of designs. And that's the box where I thrive, in a, in a design that is definitely not new, because I'm unfortunately not as talented as those brilliant designers that make great ideas from nothing. But... Um, I'm a great thief and I like to steal, test and apply wrong ideas to an old environment. Pretty much what I did with the cabin. Now, a couple of years ago, home designing drifted towards eclectic design. So you could have a Victorian bathroom, a mid-century living room and a bohemian kitchen in the same home. And, and those who really pulled that off was the ones exaggerating these individual rooms to get that wow factor on each uh, doorstep. Now, of course, understanding just one of these designs is, is hard and making two or four of them so well that the whole idea of eclecticism, 
just doesn't turn into a badly executed mishmash. It's very, very hard. And, um, but that's the challenge that I'm going for. A boat with four different interior designs that still go together are practical and part of a performing sea vessel. And I'll get back to those four parts in a minute, but this leads us to what kind of sea vessel I'm building uh, or refitting. So um, this is obviously a full keel wooden sailboat. Um, she weighed in at about six and a half metric tons, is 9.6 meters over deck, and she has a beam of 2.6 meters. That's the width of her on the, on the widest place. Now, if you run those numbers, you will get a hull that is suited for blue water sailing. So it would be dumb not to try to enhance that feature during the build. That means that to make the, the structure as strong as possible. Now, before we talk about the rig, let's get back to those four designs as they shape the deck. And um, that is pretty crucial before we put a, put a rig above it. So the V-berth in front is what I'm working on right now. It will be tucked under deck and is a very cramped space that could feel claustrophobic or cozy depending on the design. And um, I like the idea of this space being cleverly designed, um, light and modern, perhaps uh, an homage to the Swedish heritage of this ship with native woods such as oak, fir and birch. And while we're at it, why don't we build her in the traditional Scandinavian design with naked straight lines and no fuss, perhaps birch or fir plywood, uh, routed handles and slick hidden lightning. Um, I have never designed anything in Scandinavian design because, of course, it's very common here and quite honestly also a bit boring. But that makes this into a great challenge for me. I'm gonna make this everyday design that I see here nice and likable for me. Now, to pull off the Scandinavian design, you need to make every cut exact, as it is very unforgiving with no trims or um, anything that can hide your mistakes. And I'm horrible at making nice cuts too, so this is going to be a challenge. And then on the other side of that bulkhead, that is going to be in light fur or birch plywood, um, we'll have a wet locker slash uh, shower. I'm not exactly sure how that would look yet, but there's a technique of putting transparent fiberglass over plywood. Um, so I'm getting pictures of um, a plywood shower, um, and that sounds dumb enough to me. And it would also result in a tiny corridor to the V-berth, and I just love corridors, I don't know why. Um, then after that, there would be a salon. I haven't figured this one out yet, but it will go in dark Victorian style. I'm getting images of opium dens for some reason. The salon will then transform into the galley that will be functional in um, white painted wood planking with thin thin oak trims. And this whole area, the main doghouse, will be freed of nautical equipment and as far as possible has nothing to do with the sailing of the boat. It would just be um, a kind of liveaboard uh, living room. It will be a floating living room somehow because that's part of another idea that I want to try out and I want to see if you can build a blue water boat with all the instruments behind the main doghouse. Um, I haven't seen it, it's probably out there somewhere um, but yeah that's uh, also um, a theory that I want to try out. So so off of the main doghouse will be a tiny and sheltered center cockpit uh, I understand that um, center cockpits are dividing the sailors uh, on the internet, and I don't know why. Because um, I don't sail, and I don't know anything about boats. But um, yeah, it's going to be a center cockpit. Uh, I like the idea of that because it's very um, sheltered. But if the weather gets too rough, or if you um, are sailing under um, wind vane or autopilot, you might want to crash somewhere or sleep or rest somewhere and that would be the aft cabin that I will build here. Uh, so there would be a small aft cabin doghouse in the back. And the aft cabin is going to hold all the equipment um, that you would need for sailing. So that would be kind of the captain's uh, place I guess. Which gets us to the rig. So as you know she was rigged as a catch when I got her. And me being an aesthetic, love the schooners. And I know uh, sailors hate the performance of a schooner, but I don't care. If it fits my eye, it would be good enough. 
But I did some dubious sketches stealing talented people's design just to get an idea of what it would look like in different clothes. And a schooner rig that I love would not be too bad. But for my eyes, it was a bit too aggressive. You can see that she's kind of hunched in the front. Um, and the missing mast would also have to be butted against the main doghouse, which would add to a series of design challenges there with the galley and, and the stairs down. Um, uh, the main... What the hell? Are you, what do you call those? The... Um, companion way I think I'm just learning about boats um, here's another rig that I stole from I believe uh, was Caston Designs and I love it the Missin being a regular triangle and the main a gaffer looks absolutely stunning it puts the Missin mast against the aft cabin and the number of ways you can balance this with the sheets is almost indefinite so um, this is what I'm aiming for, uh, a catch with a triangle missing and a main gaffer. Um, pretty much a beautifully dressed, capable vessel with perhaps quirky but nice interior. Um, that's what we're going for. But then again, this is, um, this is not about finishing, it's about doing. So um, perhaps we just get a big bonfire. Thank you. 